So kind of going back to, um, you know, the relationship with class and the student body and stuff, um, did you guys have any type of ceremony um, when you first came in? Because I know like doctors or dentists, they have like a white coat ceremony. Did you guys have any? No, we got our cat. We, 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 well, well, we had uniforms. And they would be like, well, variations of what's up hanging up there. Uh, blue and, the blue and white one, we never had after the school reopened in the 40s. So that blue and white uniform had to have been back in the 20s or the 30s. The, um, we had, when I came in, we had starched cotton uniforms. And the la hospital had a laundry, and they starched our uniforms. And I mean, they starched, you had to wham your arm through the sleeve <laughs> 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 to, to get, get it open, you know? And it was a battle. Um, then they gradually, then, you know, washable items came in, and so then they were in their own. Um, and the, and the, the, the uh, uniform kind of varied with, with what they did. And they ended up with what could have pantsuits as well. So, um, I don't know, pantsuits, can, I suppose, came in in the uh, 60s and 70s. And that type of thing. Now, for a ceremony, we had the caps. And you did not have a cap for your first six months. And then when you started your second semester, then you got a cap. We had a capping ceremony. And at the hospital then was managed by a Lutheran society. So the, the capping ceremony was up here at the Lutheran church. And uh, the students got their cap. And you'll see some of these pictures are here, are capping pictures. Um, Everybody got their capping picture on a Friday night, and their families were invited, and we had pomp and circumstance and the whole thing and a reception afterwards. Then, six months later, this cap had a blue stripe on it. Then, six months later, when your second year began, you got a yellow stripe. School's colors were blue and gold. So we got a yellow stripe. And then, when we started our senior year, we got another blue stripe. So the blue and gold and blue. And then the graduate cap is a black band. It goes horizontal. So you see all those examples over there on the wall. The one, the two, the three, and then the black. Um, I, I, we, uh, my, my friend and I, when we went to San Francisco for communal disease, we knew our third year was starting while we were up there. And we thought that the <laughs> director was going to forget it and not send bands up. So we took some with us. So that the official day we could have our band on our cap. Well, she surprised us and didn't send them to us. But <laughs> we were ready for our, for our blue, gold, and blue. And of course, now caps are hardly worn at all. But it's interesting. Uh, people are starting to inquire about the caps again. And the patients, by and large, expect to see the, the, the nurse with a cap on is, is identification. And because they don't, you know, people are in such uniforms now, such get ups, they, they don't know what they're seeing. They don't know what your status is. Who are you coming in to take care of me? What do you know about me? You know, type of thing. 